Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is another Test It Tuesday and we're going to be doing it on the NYX Total Control Foundation. So if you want to see how this product works, then just keep watching. So like I said before, these are the NYX Total Control Foundation Drops. Um, they retail for $14.99. I got these at Walgreens. I believe they sell them though anywhere that NYX is sold. So like Ulta, uh, Walgreens, I think CVS. No, I don't think I've ever seen them at CVS. So probably just Walgreens. I think Target sells them, possibly. Anyways, so they retail basically for $14.99. They might be a little different depending on where you buy them. Um, but these are the drops. They have 0.43 fluid ounce. And let's see how many shades. Okay, so it looks like on NYX's website it actually retails for $14. They have 30 shades, which is amazing. Um, I am in the shade Porcelain, which I think is like second to last. Okay, which is third to last. So the box says that it, you can do one drop for a light coverage, two drops for medium, no, I lied. You can do two drops for light, three drops for medium, and four drops for uh, total coverage, or full coverage, I mean. Um, so we're gonna test this out. I have already been wearing it throughout the day, so the makeup I have right now is actually, it's seven to seven, so. So I've had this on for 12 hours, and it's still holding up pretty good. Um, I did do one primed and one unprimed. So this side I did unprimed, and then this side I did with a primer. And the primer I use is just the one I use daily, which is the Smashbox Primerizer. So I think, I actually think I like the finish of the unprimed side better, but it lasted longer. So it still is on there, but I can see my redness right here coming through. This one I can see it a little bit down here, but it's not as intense as over here. Although, this side is also harder to cover, I've noticed, for my redness, so maybe that's the reason. I'm going to jump to a clip of me testing out the product, that way you can see how it applies and all that stuff, and then I will come back and tell you my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm going to do this like I did every time I've tried this foundation, which I have tried it three times now, just to get my full thoughts about it. So I'm going to use my primerizer, and I typically do it on both sides of my face, but for this video I'm going to do it on half. So I'm just going to stick with this side as my primed. So I have tried to use this product multiple different ways. I've tried it with my Morphe sponge. I tried it with my Morphe brush, Ooh, that's dirty. which is the M439, which is a very packed, dense brush. And then I tried it with this brush. But I still don't know what brand it is because it's rubbed off. So I tried it all kinds of ways and I think I found that the sponge works best. I'm still going to show you the different kinds though just so you can see. So it recommends two drops as light coverage, three drops as medium, and four as full. Four as full. Jeez. So I'm just going to show you basically as if I was doing it like they said. So here is one, two kind of three, but we'll go with it. So I'm going to use my flat brush to put it on my face first because I found it just spreads easier. Obviously they have a brush that they recommend that's their brush. If I'm buying a product, I want it to work with any brush that I would already have. I don't want to have to go out and buy another brush. So I'm going to do the, this side with this brush. And then I'm going to use this brush on this side. I'm going to tell you right off, the right off the bat, this one takes away a lot of your coverage. So for this, kind, this foundation, I don't recommend these kind of brushes. Um, this one, it still, gave the, uh, it still gave some coverage better than the other side did. But uh, I would say this is light coverage, but extremely, extremely light. Like, you might as well not have any on. I don't know if the camera is picking up the color very nicely, but I can still see a lot of my redness. So I'm going to add one more drop as the medium coverage. And I'm just going to try to grab a tiny bit 
and just put it in the places that I have a lot of redness. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this brush again. Okay, so that is medium coverage. I need Okay, so that's considered medium, co medium coverage. Me personally, I would consider this light coverage because I still see a bunch of my redness. My um, contour line is, I have dark, what's it called? I have darkness there, so I can still very clearly see that. So we're gonna do one more drop. Let's, let's, let's give it a little more. And then we're gonna put this on my specific red spots. Now normally this brush is really good for me for making product go farther. Okay, so that is four drops. That is what they consider full coverage. Um, I don't consider this full coverage. I also don't like it with a brush. So I'm gonna get really close and, and uncomfortable with you and I'm gonna zoom you in so that you can see what my skin looks like with a brush. Hopefully this is in focus. So this is what my face looks like using a brush. And you can tell it's really streaky. It definitely grabs onto like any dry patches that I have. It's definitely grabbing to all of them. But that's only with a brush. I noticed if I do a sponge of some sort, it works so much better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add more drops. Typically, when I've been using this in the morning, to get it, the coverage I like, which I like full, full coverage, and I don't think it really does full, full, but in order to get it to the coverage I like, I noticed doing one whole like syringe or whatever you want to call that, I noticed doing one whole one of that will actually work pretty good. So Now when I do it with a brush, it starts looking cakey the more I add it, but if I do it with a sponge, it doesn't look cakey. And it feels almost as if nothing's there. I've put five layers on. Because I had already put those five or four drops on, I just did half of this to get the amount of a full one, basically. So this is what it looks like after you have a full one. I think when it's full, like using a full amount, I think it actually looks really pretty. Definitely don't think it's full coverage, but it is medium. I would show you my skin, but since I used a brush starting, it doesn't look good still. Um, the sponge helped some, but it's not going to fully fix it. Now that you see how I applied it in the different ways and how it reacts with those kind of ways. Let's just go ahead and jump onto my final thoughts. Okay, so that is how I applied the foundation and how it looks on my skin. Overall, I think it is a decent product. I do like how it literally feels like there's nothing on your skin. I do really like that. People that like light coverage to medium coverage would actually really like this, but I think people that like full coverage wouldn't like it that much, only because it did cover, but it's not full, full, full. Like, it took me a while to get my redness covered. So it's definitely not by the drops that they say on the back of the box. It is buildable and it's nicely built. It doesn't look cakey. I think the only thing that looks cakey on my skin is where I did the powder for my under eyes. So I do think it's actually a really nice product and I would recommend it, like I said, for more people that like light coverage to medium. Maybe not so much for full coverage. But that's all I have for this video, so thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one.